please i'll move to a uh, new item and then i will select uh, adjustment layer and then i will leave the settings to the default setting and then i will go with okay so i'll definitely drag this adjustment layer and put it on top of my project and then i will resize it to be on the same line as my project so now that i'm there i'll move to my effects under my effect under my effect sorry i'll type in transform so the effect that we're going to be learning on how to use is called a transform effect so i'll drag it and put it on top of my adjustment layer and i'll highlight my layer too so i'll drag this here i'll come to my uniform scale that is under the motion i'll i'll select my high highlight and then i'll type in uh about a dig digits of 125 and then to my width that's 39.0 so i'll move down to my speed yeah okay uh sorry transformation speed yeah huh and then i'll select the uh, the scale to 25 okay uh sorry 230 and then this is the effect we're having so definitely it's standing up which is called horizontal is it horizontal okay so i'll come back to my uh rotation and then i'll go with the digits of 25 to make it tilted so this is what we're going to be having and then the next effect is going to be recording this so what do i have to do uh, to make this effect more effective is I'll, I'll drag my slider to the starting point of the adjustment layer and then i'll begin recording from where the i want the sequence to start from to where i want it to end from so uh according to my calculation my dig should be a uh, minus one uh sorry minus one is it four yeah oh sorry it's a minus uh one four zero three point zero zero to my end point which is um about uh 500 something or uh, 500 uh, 580 uh, this is just not the exact figures i'm just uh, guessing out my work but you can definitely do it uh, exactly in a prof uh, professional level i'm just trying to show you how you can get this done so i'm definitely done with uh, merging my points i'll duplicate my layers by uh using my alt plus using your left click on your mouse and then i'll make two background copies from this i'll then after some my uh, my project and when i'm done with this this is what we're going to be having an extremely smooth transition in your video so this is what we definitely have today and keep uh keep practicing because that's the only way you can get the best out of this so my name is Renz. see you in the next one